Shifting gears now, a commemoration ceremony was held today to mark 100 years since the establishment of Korea's Provisional Assembly in Shanghai. The body, which served as the basis of the National Assembly, enacted the Provisional Constitution and changed the name of this country to the Republic of Korea. Kim Min-ji has more. South Korea's National Assembly held a ceremony on Wednesday to mark 100 years since the establishment of the Provisional Assembly, back when Imperial Japan ruled the peninsula. The body opened in Shanghai on April 10, 1919, with its inaugural meeting kicking off at 10 p.m. that night. National Assembly Speaker Bunny Sang said it's time to look back at the past 100 years and see if the National Assembly is living up to the Republican and parliamentary values instilled at the time of the legislature in exile. In our dark history, there was division, strife, conflict and confusion. I believe the responsibility lies in the hands of the political arena and leaders from all walks of life. For the politicians of today, it should be an important moment to reflect and think about how to proceed in the next hundred years. The Assembly in exile enacted the Provisional Constitution, which outlined the people's rights and duties. The members of the assembly also decided to change the name of the country from Taean Empire to Taean Minguk, or the Republic of Korea, to show that it was the people's country. Over the next 100 years, Speaker Moon said the country needs a paradigm shift, starting with a reform of the constitution. If we do not revamp the power structure to change the country's imperialistic presidential system and do not fix the electoral system that distorts voter sentiment, Political strife will deepen at every election, and the consequences will be dire. To commemorate the occasion, the official seal of the Provisional Assembly was donated, as well as a number of keepsakes and documents that Hong Jin, the last speaker of the Provisional Assembly, had preserved. A similar event will be held in Shanghai at 10 p.m. tonight. South Korea's political leaders will be reenacting the first session at the same time and on the same date it took place 100 years ago. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.